Yo, fellow, welcome back, fellow artists. Here we are again. As you can see, I'm after building it up nicely now, giving it a lot of texture, you know, because you want to get that texture into it. That's what it's all about with these funky <laughs> roosters. And you can see the way I left the blue coming through. I explained that to you in the first couple of videos, just to give yourself a guiding line. And I have a funny feeling that I'm going to leave those lines. I'm going to uh, reinforce them though with cobalt blue rather than going for the you know the dark mixture of the phthalo blue and the deep cadmium red i think we'd stick with that blue and we introduce an inspirational color i just had an idea while i was building up the layers we're going to actually introduce some brilliant blue okay brilliant blue into the sky area in order to leave the lines delineating sorry just hit off the three graces there delineating the roosters but what we want to do is we just want to get in an idea of some tail feathers here in the background nothing extravagant just a few ideas something like this coming up there going out of it like that okay one that that's going to disappear down there behind his back okay then maybe another one linking up to it and then going off that way okay like that coming in behind there and then maybe another one disappearing that that way which we don't really see at all we can just see the bottom of it coming in here like that it'll disappear behind that but it's just to give an impression of those tail feathers coming in there and what we'll do is we're going to get a little bit of that the, the, the deep red is the best color for it okay and we have our deep red here just to show you here because we built up i hope now you've built up all your colors here because there's about five or six layers that i put onto that that's the whole, exci whole exciting thing about building up on the cobalt blue. You know, some areas are a bit deeper where the blue is saturating and, and it's coming through in the orange, but it's mostly orange and then the same with the red, deep and the medium red. Just so exciting using this technique, you know, with red, uh, or sorry, with cobalt blue as a base. Now I'm using my round brush here because I just want to put some little lines in here in between these little areas that we've put down. Just to show that these maybe are tail feathers, you know, they're coming up in the air and then they're going to bend down or curl down behind. They're going into his back. You won't see the others because they'll be going out that way. They're outside of the canvas, okay? So you don't see them. Now we have that one maybe connecting in there to that and then coming down here as a line. And it'll probably disappear there. We won't see it either because of the blue line. Can we make it a bit thicker there? Just as it goes out of the painting like that goes out there as well at the top and it bends something like bends slightly in there like that and then we have the other guy coming in here like this behind the comb of the rooster okay i think it's called comb and we're just putting it in there now they'll be delineated as well don't worry we'll get to those but you see that idea you just give the impression of it coming in there and then what i want to do is before we go on to our next stage we're going to have to leave the cobalt blue as lines around the rooster's areas the head and the neck area so i'm just going to do a little line there just guiding us just to let us know okay you're going to leave that area clear because you want the cobalt blue to come through there as i said because cobalt blue will be delineating now all of these areas and the same with the beak that's going to come out there the cobalt blue then his the rooster comb again coming up here it's just a guide to us just so as we know where we are okay come right up there out there behind that and it's going to be coming down here through those tail feathers we can go do that again there's no problem it's going to be here as well the beak through the tail feathers as well the beak through the tail feathers because we're going to have the cobalt blue as their uh, delineations okay going up there like that this is what's going to make the whole thing just to remind us that these lines are important okay so we have those just a little guideline that's all no big deal if you don't put it in there's no no problem you know we're not going to uh, reprimand you or anything but what we're going to do next is I think we want to start getting a few of these little dots okay so I've got a little square brush here that I'm going to use for it I'll do one of these here to show it. Same idea as what we did on the fish. That'll dry there naturally now, the other colours along there before we go near them. We get our number two, it's a number two square, flat or bright. And we just get a nice consistency again with it, okay? 
nice consistency going in there like that S spreading around taking it off the ferrule do you remember the ferrule is the metal part that the um the brushes bristles are squeezed into and held in okay so we have that there just clean that off a little bit there you go and then we're just going to start this idea of higgledy piggledy little dots here and there try to make them as irregular as, po as possible you see the way i'm moving my brush around i don't want them regular i don't want them like a an army march or something like that i just want them higgledy piggledy lovely happy dots so we get dots of color a bit like damien Hirst's paintings you know uh you can see now how he does them but uh just higgledy piggledy all around the place you know just like that and we'll the usual story with these again we have to come back to them and reinforce them i'm making sure that i'm not doing a particular pattern i'm just trying to avoid um, them looking too regular and too austere because we want that idea that they're jumping for joy these dots because they belong to the funky roosters so do you see, the, you see that idea isn't that right for bringing that to life come up here again then try the same idea jumping from side to side moving the brush continually moving a brush is never static in your hand it's always moving to get effects you know if you keep the brush in the same position you just get the same effect you'll just be repeating it over and over again you'll be using like a stamp with the same image on it but we don't want to do that we want to make it exciting full of joy movement happiness these dots wake up with a big smile in the morning when they wake up you know looking forward to the day the way we wake up can you see what i'm doing now can you see this yeah okay the idea is don't even think about it don't even think about it maybe i do think about it again i go back a little bit but can you see the way it's bringing it to life now yeah you say oh my god yeah look at these dots they're so fun they're having a great time these dots don't want to go in they don't want to go to bed they want to stay out and jump around all night long you know let's say when i go to the playground oh i was in a park this morning for a walk the saddest thing a playground without children it's so sad these times but they'll be full of children again but uh, I've never seen a playground without children we did this morning anyway but hopefully they'll be full of children soon now look at these dots they're so dotty if you can call them dotty oh there's a little bit of red there that's not dry do you notice that it doesn't matter when we're reinforcing it we'll go over that again now so what do you think of that conducting dots I have an orchestra of dots now okay could be the river dance of dots uh could be the x factor of dots which is the better dot of all now do you see that's all we want to do that's all we want to do there okay just to get that lovely effect of whoa look at me look what i wore today well they are wore their dotty mantles or whatever they're called cloaks i don't know there must be a special name for roosters now we're not going to stop there because we're going to get even more dotty with our cadmium red all these colors are on the list at the beginning the only color that isn't on the list is this one because that's what happens when you when you're painting you know you add you subtract you invent you're inspired and you perspire no i'm only joking the thing is that blue came into my head as I said when I'm building up those layers in order to hold on to the cobalt I needed a lighter blue in the background and this is going to really just jump out as well they're really going to be funky okay now we've put down our cadmium red medium can you see that great okay you don't need to go to spec savers then okay we have that there oh, missed the water that time get a nice consistency and now we're going to do exactly the same down here and in order to do that you know the way we lock it into our tabletop easel if you don't have a tabletop easel don't worry if you're doing it it's quite legit to do these things on the flat a lot of people do them on the flat because they find it a lot easier to control and you can paint any any way you want you know i just use this because of the camera setup okay you're watching let's go let's do it okay we have them here here 
everywhere okay and you can see the idea this is why I call these guys funky roosters you call them speckled roosters I suppose roosters with dots um, Dalmatian roosters <laughs> I don't know there's lots of titles you could come up with but anyway I think funky is the best okay trying to keep them as funky as possible to death the dots okay and as I said you might have to go back over them again to reinforce them to make them really stand out because you want these dots to be you know as textured as the rest of the painting underneath okay there's only a few here but they all they all play a part you know they all play their own little part in it yeah I'd say the reds definitely will have to be uh, reinforced definitely yeah another one in there there as I go back and that is beautiful I love it okay now what we're going to do next is because I think that's dry before we go with our um, our other dots we're just gonna bring them all over here for a second clean that off that's nice and clean up put it back and then get a round brush because we're gonna bring in the fabulous brilliant blue that I was telling you about just to get around that line there that I put in with the uh, pastel. And what we want is a little, a little moisture, not too much into it. Okay, can you see that? See the way they're all hitting off each other, all these colors, they're fantastic. Another messy palette, which I photograph. I always photograph my palettes afterwards. In fact, I keep some of them and I use them in collages. The photographs I use as inspiration for abstracts you know because abstracts are so difficult to do the most difficult form of painting more difficult than anything else because every painting is an abstract now we're going to start off just to leave those lines get in a little bit of blue here it's just to help help us on our way and to give a lovely lovely contrast going up here now like that in around there see I'm doing this with the small brush because the big brush would obviously would not be able to contend with the little angles but you'll see what I mean when we have it in just to get to keep or holding on to the blue can you see the idea now we're holding on to the cobalt blue bring that all the way around there okay all the way around there doesn't matter if you go in a little bit if your hand isn't steady enough you can always go back over it you know there's no big deal delineating the the beak there can you see that i would probably very exaggerate the beak in fact as you know we've exaggerated everything to do with them roosters don't really look like this okay bring it up there as well to show this guy here his lovely head headdress or whatever it's called i don't know a rooster comb or something um now we want to get in there but not too close because we want to have delineations on the tail feathers as well but we can adjust those again when we get to them. Same in here, a little bit in there. Going down there on that. Give us that up there as well. A little bit coming in there. A little bit coming in there. And we will, we'll go when we get to it, a little bit coming in there, we'll be able to adjust it accordingly. Okay, now because there's only a little area left, we might as well go with this small brush, load it on like that. Because we will have to go over this as well, like everything else, we're going to reinforce reinforce it as we go along, get some texture in that. But can you see the way, like that just came to, it was, it was a, a eureka moment. As I was layering on the textures of the other colours on the roosters, I said, no, I, I, like, I like the idea that I mentioned earlier on in the video but leaving the delineations as the cobalt blue, which I do sometimes with various, I think I did it with the fish as well. It's just to vary it, it's another technique. You can go back in for the cobalt blue. And when we get them in, you'll see the idea. Because our next, before we reinforce any other colors, we're gonna get into the delineations uh, with, with the cobalt blue. And this is your brilliant blue, as you know. Okay, so we get that in there. Now, do you see the way it's standing out? Don't worry about this up here. We'll organize that when we get to it. And when we dry these, we're going to go back over them again, but first we need to delineate. So what do you think? Isn't it looking cool? I really like it. And of course, we'll have to reinforce the reds as well. So hold on to your brushes, put on the kettle. I'll be back in a jiffy.